Oh my lord. Oh, the table is shaking. Look how many albums there are. Hey everyone, one of my friends actually gave me all of her Arashi merch, so I wanted to make a video about it. So before I begin, shout out to Kurisa, thank you for meeting up with me and giving me all this merch. I did try to give you some one-on-one -on -one merch and some other K-pop albums to make up for it, but honestly I can't express how happy I am that you gave me all of your Arashi merch, especially some of the older concert merch and um, older paparazzi photos that are so much harder to find these days. So thank you, thank you, thank you from the bottom of my heart and I'm so excited to bring you guys this video. As you can see there are so many albums and actually all of these albums are sealed so they haven't been opened, they're still in their original shrink wrap and there's so many limited edition ones which usually sell out after a few weeks after they are released so that is so amazing. <laughs> so. I think I'm going to go through the miscellaneous concert merch first and then after that I'm going to do the albums. So let's get on into this unboxing which I'm so excited about in case you guys didn't know. Alright, welcome back. So this is all of the smaller merch. I've tried to line it up so that it's easier just for me to grab and show you guys. So the first thing that I wanted to show you guys is this thing. It's so cute and I've been keeping it on my desk for the past couple of days while I was waiting to film this video. Um, but normally what happens is for their concerts they do a couple of items that are tailored towards little kids. Because obviously Arashi are in their late 30s. So a lot of their fans are in their late 30s and they have small children. Can you guess what this is? It is a little texter set. How cute is that? So this one was unsealed, but surprisingly I tried out all of the markers and they still work perfectly fine. I'll just show you that right now. All right, so back with my spare paper. So let's do Nino. Maybe I should write their names. Should I write their names? Okay, so we have Nino and the red one, show, blue one, Oop. oh no, and purple for Matsujun, Matsujun. Green for Aiba. So as you can see, these textures work perfectly fine, even though Beautiful World was back in 2011. So basically these textures have been around for 10 years. It's amazing that they still work because normally textures dry up after a couple of years. And yeah, that is the little texture set that I got. All right, let's do straps next. So I'm really excited for this one because I really like these straps that have different things dangling off it. This is also from Beautiful World. And yeah, let's open up this one. So you can see that they have their initials on it. And I think you can just pull it out like this. Ta -da! This strap is so pretty. I'm going to insert maybe some HD photos or HD videos of it, but um, it looks so much nicer in real life. <laughs> if I was in high school or something and I had a big backpack that I used every day, I would definitely hang it on my backpack. Um, but I'll see what I want to do with this. I might hang it on my door or something. So pretty. <laughs> Okay, the next strap is from Scene, which was the year before Beautiful World. So for the whole of Scene, they had this blue and green kind of theme, 
which is pretty nice. And yeah, the Arashi logo is also blue and green. They packaged it in exactly the same way as the Beautiful World strap. And yeah, this one is a little bit more simple, but it's kind of made of this fabric slash, it feels like leather inside. Ooh. And if you guys can see on the inside, it actually says, Seen Kimi to Boku no Miteiru Fukui which is very pretty. I really like this. I think this is something that I would put on a handbag as a small reminder to people who know that I am a fan of Arashi. All right, now the next one I am not gonna unbox because I actually already have this strap, but I'll insert again some videos of the strap of this that I already have and I've already opened. So this is from Untitled and that was the 2017 to 2018 concert. This is the one from Osaka, I remember. So I did buy this one on site during the 2017, 2018 concert. This is Jun's color, and then this little charm is something that you can take off it. Okay, this thing is from Popcorn in 2012. And at first I thought it was a mouse because doesn't it look like a mouse? Like it's literally the same size and shape as a mouse, but it's actually a little bag charm. And so let's open this one. Okay, so they've stuck it on the back. To be very honest, like Popcorn wasn't my favorite album, definitely. And it also wasn't my favorite concert because I'm more of a like serious cultural concert kind of person. Not really a huge fan of the purely happy concerts that people do. And Popcorn was definitely like a purely happy concert. But this is kind of like a, almost like a stress ball. Cause I can, I can squish it. And you can definitely feel that there's fluff on the inside. And there's just a strap and you can also hang it on your bag, but I think it's a little bit big for me So I'm just gonna hang it at home but That is really cute as well Okay, um, I guess let's continue with popcorn merch So this thing is another thing that I'm not going to unpack because this is an earphone jack and my phone is an iPhone 10, which doesn't have an earphone jack, so I I don't know, I might give it to my mum because she has an iPhone 6. I don't know what, but it's very nostalgic. I used to love earphone jacks and I always had one when I had an iPhone 6 Plus. So yeah. All right, next is this thing. And I think this is like a sticker that you stick on the back of your transport card or something. So I'm not gonna unwrap this one either because right now I don't have a card that I can stick this on the back of, but I do really like it. And I'm always in search of these kinds of stickers because I put it on the back of my Opal card and transport card and sometimes even student ID card. <laughs> so there's that thing. So next there are two of these sheets and I believe these are actually stickers or even nail stickers. If you compare to my thumbnail, they are very small, they definitely fit on your nail. This one is something that could go on your laptop maybe. I'm always trying to get into nail art but never can be bothered so maybe this would be a good way to start. Alright so then there are these four little keychains. And unfortunately, there's no Sakurai one. I feel like she might have given that away to someone else, but... All right, so I'm gonna try and hold the bell so that it doesn't ring too much. But this is the Aiba one. It's green, it has a green bell. And it says, I love Arashi and smile in the beautiful world on the back. So this is also from Beautiful World, I'm guessing. To be honest, it looks kind of like a keychain that you get from a touristy location. Reminds me a bit of Hawaii, but that's really cute. All right, next up we have the Matsujin one. 
So you can see that it is a light purple and it says the same thing. I love Arashi and Smile in the Beautiful World on the back. Then we have the Nino one, which is obviously yellow. So there is a golden bell, a yellow little um, strap. And then it says, I love Arashi again, and Smile in the Beautiful World on the back. And last but definitely not least, we have the Ono one. Same thing, but this time in blue. Okay. And now the next piece of merch, I also used to have this sticker pack, but I used up all of these stickers. So I'm really happy to have another one. This is from Waku Waku Gakko. So it's like a school kind of concert event that Arashi does. You can buy a ticket, go to the stadium, and they teach you about five different areas of life, one area per person. So these are stickers. They're kind of gummy in texture. They're really nice and I really like them. Okay, next two items I have never ever seen before, but apparently these are from 24 Hour TV. So it is a charity event that they do every year. And they've done a lot of different things for 24 Hour TV, like they do special movies. Um, I'm pretty sure someone has run a marathon before. And it's a really worthwhile event. So let's open this one. Oh, I forgot to say which year 24 hour TV it's from. So this was Love Saves the Earth Future 2012. And one thing is they always do it in summer. So they wear special t-shirts that are designed by certain people. Ono has also designed a t-shirt set for them before. Okay, so this is a longer chain strap and it's in Arashi colors and it has a little string at the top so you can tie it as a string or you can use it as a keyring. I think this is really cool. I think you can maybe tie it to your jeans if you wanted to, to give some sort of sparkle to your jeans or you could tie it on a smaller handbag and give some sparkle to that smaller handbag. I think it's really pretty. And last but not least, we have these gummy uh, wristbands. And I know what these feel like. And I'm not going to unwrap this one because I don't see myself using it in real life. So yeah, that is all of the smaller merch that I was given. And now let's move on to the books and the albums. Alright, so these are the books that she also gave me, and don't worry, I know that there's two Iba ones. I asked her why there were two Iba ones, and she's like, I don't know, just take them. So, um, as you can see, these four, um, I mean these six, are all from the same Arashi 4 set. And then I have Iba and Ono from Arashi 3. So these books are all called Minimum Arashi, and I do have a couple of them, I have about 10 of them. So it's nice to also... Um, be able to add to that collection. So I'm just gonna flip briefly through each of them. It kind of annoys me that they didn't go by the member colors and they just went by random <laughs> random colors. Um, so Iba's one. This is from 2011 to 2012. I'm just flipping through it really quickly. Oh yeah, it also has the little inclusion on the inside. Super quick. If you want to see more of these photos, you can watch uh, the Beautiful World concert. I have already flipped through this book. I couldn't help myself. So there's Iba's. Okay, let's do show next. Show is red, which is correct. So that makes me a little bit happy. 
And you can see that Minimum Arashi is very inexpensive. It's 476 yen each. But if you bought it imported in Australia, it would be about $20. So I've never bought these actually in Australia before. Again, these are all photos from the Beautiful World concert. Oh yeah, special mention to when it was Sho's birthday and everyone else dressed up as airline pilots and air hostesses. <laughs> Alright, let's continue. I think 2011 was probably one of my favourite eras for Sho, for his haircut and his general styling. Alright, now let's get on to Ono. And his book is this bizarre orange colour, which I don't know why they would choose orange. Anyway. Okay, so that was Ono. Now let's move on to Jun. Jun is blue. Ah, so she got it from Kino Kunia. So it was 11.46. Yeah, so it's more than double the price that you could get it for in Japan. I also really loved 2011 for Matsujin's hair. I think it suits him so well and it's absolutely iconic. Okay, so that was Matsujin. And last for the Arashi 4 series, this is Nino. Ta da! See, they were dressed as air hostesses. <laughs> That's funny. Okay, so that was Nino, and just quickly let's go through the Arashi 3 ones as well. Oh, Alright, I'm going to be super careful with this one because the spine is kind of falling off. I'm just going to flip through a couple of the pages. So this was from Scene back in 2010. Happy birthday, how cute. I'm so scared that everything is gonna fall apart. Oh my gosh. Okay, I'm not gonna risk any more, but yes, that is Ono Arashi number three. And then this is Aiba. Luckily Aiba's not falling apart. Again, some photos from the scene concert, some photos from music stages. And yeah, that's all the books. And then I also got some what we call papa pics. So that means paparazzi photos um, that people took of the concert. Now I can't show you guys 
them too in depth, I think. So I'm going to flip through them super quickly, just like this. So you, you get an idea. They're kind of like um, very candid concert photos that people took. And there's, there's a news guy in the back. So I might give that one back to her because she's a fan of news. And this little binder is full of the same kind of photos. So paparazzi photos. If you guys want to buy paparazzi photos, there are some stores in Harajuku that sell them, but you have to look really hard to find them, otherwise you'll just be walking on the street and you'll miss them. Okay, so now let's go on to the albums. Oh my lord. Oh, the table is shaking. Look how many albums there are. Let me put them here. Okay, actually, I'll put them like this so you can see all the titles. Um, if you guys remember, I did a video earlier this year where I talked about my collecting goals. And one of my big collecting goals is that I wanted to collect every single Arashi release. So this um, giveaway from my friend helps with that so much. And plus these are all sealed, which is amazing. Okay, so I think I would just leave them. Are they going to fall down? Okay, I'll leave them like this on the side and then I'm just going to unbox everything here. Okay, um, so firstly we have To Be Free. I'm going to need a box cutter. Back with my box cutter. Okay, so this is To Be Free by Arashi. It was released in 2011, I believe. Not my favourite single, which is why I don't have it yet, but super excited to have this album. If you can see, another amazing thing is that it is the limited edition release version. Okay, and then this thing on the side also comes off. I like to keep these and stick them on because I feel like it makes the spine stand out a bit more if I have this little thing, but I'll stick it on later. So this is To Be Free. And because it is the limited edition release, there are two discs on it. So one is just the disc with the song on it, and one is the video, so music video. Okay, it says there is a 16 page book, so let's look at that as well. Yeah, so lyrics. Oh, hello. love this very much. Japanese releases definitely don't have as much in terms of photo book and photo cards as Korean albums do, but nevertheless it's Arashi so I will unconditionally buy everything that they have. Okay, so next one is Hatenai Sora. This is the normal version. Actually, let's open up the limited edition version first. Okay, so this is Hatenai Sora, the limited edition version. So let's open this one up. Again, I'm keeping this little spine. Oh, I like this font a lot. Can you guys see? So again, CD and DVD on the back. Let's look through the little photo book.
By the way, if you guys want to check out any of their singles, you can go onto Spotify because they have uploaded every single ever since last year. So that was the limited edition version. Okay, next up, let's look at the regular version. This is the version that you see the album art on Spotify and things. So, CD is silver this time. This one has a lot more songs on it compared to the limited edition one. So it has eight tracks, so four songs and then the instrumentals, but it doesn't have the music video, which I guess some people prefer to have the music video. And it just has a fold out lyrics for these songs. And yeah, pretty much it. Not too many photos, very minimalist. If you didn't have a lot of space in your house, Definitely getting these kinds of CDs would be very space saving. So next up we have the limited edition version of Love Rainbow. That's the front, the spine, and the back. The back is very cute. Then you have the CD, also very pretty. And you have the DVD with the music video. For this one, again, not too much. It's just a simple folded piece of cardboard and just one photo. Next up, let's look at the regular edition. So this is the front. It's actually a portrait front this time. Then the spine. And the CD on the back. I'm expecting this one to also not have too much in terms of photo book. Yep, it's just another fold out thing with the lyrics on it. Alright, next we have Monster, which was released in 2010, I believe. So I think I actually got the singles out of order, even though I did try to sort them into chronological order. So Monster is very dark, but the front looks like this. Back looks like this. And side looks like this. Oh, and I forgot to say, this is the limited edition one. So dark. You can almost not see the words on it. Okay, and then the little photo book is just... Not really a photo book, but like lyric book.
Next is the normal version. So again, it's portrait and you can see the CD now. Again, photo book, not that exciting. Just one photo on the back and one photo on the front. Next is one of my favorite singles Arashi has ever released. This is Troublemaker. Definitely go check it out on Spotify. If you can find the music video, that's even better because it is so funny. <laughs> is the front, spine, and the back. Again, two CDs. And a slightly bigger photo book this time, so let's go through that. Whenever they give us a photo book with actual large photos inside, I'm super excited for it. But yeah, it's just one photo per member and then some more lyrics. Still pretty good though. Alright, so next is I'll Be There, and I actually have this one in the limited edition, but I don't have the normal edition, so that's really good that she gave me the normal edition. So, let's open this one. Special mentions to this one for having one of the prettiest CDs I've ever seen in my life. Look how pretty that is. Yes, so this is the front. The side and the CD on the back. And it's a fold out little lyric book. And kind of a larger photo of them, which is good. Next up is the limited edition of Find the Answer. Find the Answer is for one of my favorite dramas of all time. There are subtitles if you search up 99.9 .9 Criminal Lawyer English subtitles. It is the funniest drama I've ever watched in my life. Okay, so this is the front. It is Jun's drama, so he's in the middle. Then the side. And then the back. And you just get a pretty plain CD, even though you can see a little bit of texture when I move it around. And the DVD. Okay, so for this one, you also get a little bit more of a photo book. And yeah, that is it for the photo book. I feel like they don't give you a big photo book because they want you to go buy Johnny's shop photos, which is kind of understandable.
All right, moving on to find the answer regular edition. Ooh, the CD is kind of pretty, it's silver. And for the regular edition, again, you get this kind of fold out thing. There is a lot more songs in this one, which I'm really looking forward to listening because they don't put the songs online. So like these three songs, apart from the title song, I've never heard before. So I'm really excited to listen to them. And there is a long photo on the front. Next is Dear Snow. So Dear Snow was also from 2011, so it's definitely not in the right order now. Anyway, um, let's do the limited edition first. So Dear Snow is not actually one of my favorite songs. And I think if I hadn't been given this, it would have been one of the last singles that I ever bought after I bought every other single that I like. So I am really glad that I was given this. Again, very simple little cover with just one song in this and a back that is black. So pretty plain for this one, not much to say about it. Okay, and then the regular edition. So similar front as the limited edition and very plain CD to be honest. Just a fold out little booklet again. At least there's two photos now, which is good. Even though the photos don't look too different. Next we have Lotus. And Lotus was used as a theme song for one of Iba's dramas. I haven't watched that drama, but I probably should. And I've just realized there's actually this thing that you can pull for pretty much every single. So you don't have to use a um, box cutter. That's a very good design idea. So this is the front and the side and the back. Also not the biggest fan of this song. I feel like it's not as original as some of their other songs. So this probably would have been another single that I bought last. But obviously now that I've been given it, I don't have to buy it. So I'm very blessed in that regard. And we get a little bit more substantial photo book, which is always good. Okay, so now this is the regular edition.
that's the front and the spine and the CD on the back. Again, some of these songs I haven't heard of before, so I'm really looking forward to putting this into my CD player and listening to those songs. Okay, only a couple more singles to go. Next, we have Kimi no Uta, which is one of my favorite singles ever. It is definitely in my top five out of every Arashi single. I definitely recommend you listen to this song. And honestly, if you have the chance, watch the music video as well because it is so cute. Okay, so this is the limited edition version, which has the music video inside. Unfortunately, the music video is not publicly available online, so you have to buy the single to watch it, but it's so cute. So definitely one of my favourite singles. I love the autumnal warm theme of the song and I love the colour scheme as well. There's a Shiba Inu in the music video which is a bonus. I think this is going to be a longer photo book as well so that's very good. Okay, now moving on to the regular edition. I really like this green color and the kind of geometric spiraling shape on the outside. So there's always more songs in the regular edition compared to the limited edition. Wow, I like this a lot. So you get a close-up shot of all of their faces and they are in age order this time. And on the back of this, there are so many songs so Sky Again was used as a promotional song for Japan Airlines. It's also a very uh, bright song that I quite like. Fake It is alright. And Count On Me is quite a nice song. They also sung it at a concert, which was um, unexpected but pretty good because they normally don't sing B-sides at concerts. Okay, so next up there are two singles that I'm actually not going to unbox and the two singles that I'm not going to unbox is this um, limited B version of Doors Yuki no Kiseki. I'm not going to unbox this because I already have it so I'm going to leave it sealed and perhaps I will do a giveaway for this single. The second single that I'm not going to be unboxing is this Natsu Hayate a regular version because I also already have this one. This one was released in the summer of 2018 and I was actually in Japan at the time that it was released and on the exact date that it was released I went and bought it. So this sealed one I'm gonna leave and do a potential giveaway for it. 
Okay, but we have two more albums to unbox, which is the limited version of Natsu Hayate and the um, Koshien version of Natsu Hayate. So the difference between these is that they actually made two music videos, one uh, which is kind of like a dance video and one which is the regular music video. So this one is the regular one. I really like the lighting for this as well. I think it's very bright and summery. I'm always a big fan of summery songs. Like look, they're all doing baseball moves, which is so cute. I bought a lot of um, Johnny's shop photos for this single as well, because I really liked it. The song is not one of my top, top favorite songs, but it's definitely a nice song. How cute. That is so cute. <laughs> so basically as you fold it out you see more and more members. Um, okay, so have Aiba, Jun and Ono on the front. Nothing there. And you also get the, <laughs> the bird's eye view of the five of them. Then on the other side I'm guessing, yeah, you have Nino and Sho. And you get the five of them again, smiling and happy and natural. That's very cute. Okay, finally we have the Koshien version. So this is the version where they have kind of um, a high school marching band kind of doing the music for them and they're wearing kind of blue suits and it looks amazing. So this was pretty interesting. I've not really known them to do two limited edition versions, but I guess because this was a special single for the baseball tournaments in Japan, which are a very big cultural thing. But yeah, this one doesn't have much in terms of the photo book. Definitely the DVD is the one that is most worth watching. Also wanted to give a huge shout out to Flora who gave me her Arashi Johnny's shop photo collection. Thank you Flora for helping me to increase my Johnny's shop photo collection and especially for giving me a lot of the older Arashi photos from their junior days. Okay, because I spent so long filming this entire video, I don't really feel like doing a very long outro. So this was part one of my friend gives me her Arashi merch. She has promised me more merch. So I'll hopefully do a later video showing those. But today that's it. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!